Hey folks, this is Brad with PCMac.com and today we are going to show you how to install extensions on Microsoft Edge. Uh, so first things first, you'll just want to open up Microsoft Edge, go into the menu button here and click on extensions. Uh, if you don't see that, you don't have the Windows 10 anniversary update installed, which is needed to add this functionality to Microsoft Edge. From there, you can... whoops. You can go to uh, this button here, get extensions from the store. That'll take you to the Windows Marketplace for extensions. Uh, basically, you just click on any one you want. Uh, for instance, Amazon. And then once that page comes up, you would just click on the Get button, and it would start acquiring the license and downloading. Uh, once you've done that, once it's downloaded, uh, for instance, <clears throat> uh, Evernote here I've downloaded already. Um, usually a notification will pop up and tell you that you've installed a new new extension. and It'll ask you to turn it on or turn it off, uh, which that's only a one-time thing. So to actually manage your extensions, you can go into the menu, click on extensions, and then click on the extension you want to manage a little gear icon there and then you can manage it a bit more from this panel here uh, you can turn it on and that, there's that pop-up uh, just click on the turn it on button to turn it on or if you don't want to turn it on uh, you just click keep it off uh, it does show you the uh, permissions that it needs to operate so if you don't like those permissions that might be a reason why you want to turn it off so we're going to turn it on here for the sake of this video and then you usually have a few different options to go into uh, the extension itself and manage the configuration. Uh, seems to be a little buggy with this one. Uh, so we'll actually go see if we can do that with Adblock instead. So you can turn Adblock, Adblock, Adblock Plus on. Uh, then you click the options button, give you a bunch of different uh, little configurations you can do. Uh, add your own filters, uh, list of filters, whitelisted domains, general options, and so on. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, Microsoft is has released a tool to make it possible for Chrome extensions to get converted to uh, Edge extensions without much work. Uh, and so while there's not a whole lot of extensions on the Windows Store right now, uh, we should start seeing more and more over the next couple months. Uh, and some extensions, they might look buggy, like, uh, let's see, Evernote just did here. If we go into options. And that might be a case where that uh, tool needs, or the developer needs to... Uh, fix a few bugs in the conversion from Chrome to Edge. But yeah, that's uh, basically how that works. Uh, it's really all there is to it. Uh, we've got a guide in the description below over on our website that will go into a little bit more detail. And also be sure to head on over to our YouTube channel where we've got a lot of other great tips and overviews of different software. Once again, I've been Brad with PCMac.com and until next time.